I wish I had something super differentiated to tell you, but it's just really, really clear that an incumbent party really can't have that, all that attention oxygen sucked out of it. So in this case, the Democrats, that's who Schultz would be fighting with. And they would really lose a lot of momentum and potential voters if he were to run. But, but I don't see any chance he could actually win. I know. I, I hear that. And I like Judd Gregg's point last hour that, you know, ultimately you need to get through the process one way or the other. But Robert Costa, it, why wouldn't he be stealing votes from the Republicans? I guess Gregg's point was the people who would vote for Schultz in the Republican side are not people who are going to vote for Trump anyway. So the only way that they turn out, they, it wouldn't be that they left Trump to vote for him. It would just be that they showed up the, at the polls, period. I just think that, that he would be stealing from some center-right people who wouldn't want to vote for Trump's reelection. Kelly, many Democrats still have nightmares about what happened in 2000 when Ralph Nader ran on the Green Party candidate uh, ticket, and he, in, in effect, in the argument of some Democrats, cost Al Gore the presidential election. Talking to people close to Schultz, they say their belief is that he, if he does run, that he could try to pull, as you said, from some Republicans, moderate Republicans, who may be turned off by President Trump, and some Democrats who may not like the leftward drift of the Democratic Party. It's tough unless you have a billion dollars to spend to get on the ballot in all 50 states and mount a real independent campaign. We saw how challenging it was for Ross Perot in 1992. Uh, but th that is the political path, th th believing both parties are going too far toward their, their base. You know, Robert, I'm also thinking about Jamie Dimon. And there's been a number of CEOs who have done quite well and probably are more centrist than either party, at least the energy in the parties represents at the moment. And uh, someone like that, could come out and, and potentially run an independent campaign, right? Or, or is that route completely over, a total dead end, and there's no prospect for anybody uh, of that kind of philosophy right now? You can flirt with the idea, talk about it with friends on Wall Street, or get encouragement if you're at Davos, but it, it, you have to really make an effort to run in the national level in presidential politics. The most telling example of this is Michael Bloomberg. He has decided if he does run, it will be on the Democratic side yeah. because he knows the infrastructure within a party is almost necessary if you really want to compete. Jamie Dimon, if he wanted to run, or Howard Schultz, you have to get in right now and almost start to build your own party within the whole U.S. system.